Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video we are going to concentrate on the menu here and the actual background that the menu is sitting on. Um, so the first thing we're going to have to do is actually create a slice that will slice out this background that the icons are sitting on. So the way we're going to do this, if we select the slice tool and if we just zoom in a little, so we want to be grabbing just from above there and then below here so if I just drag this along bring it to the edge like that so if I just zoom in to show you what we need so we need to grab it right on this edge in fact that's just a little bit off so if I bring that in slightly like that so it's right on this edge we need to grab these two lines here so make sure it's butted right up here but we, and my slice I need to bring this down slightly so it's on these lines so if I just move this along here's the point if I bring that down you see that snaps to the top of the black line and then bring it all the way along and again I just need to bring this in ever so slightly like that so if I just zoom out so you can see the whole thing now. So what we want is we want the slice to come below this little gradient effect here. So we're selecting all of this background layer. And now all we need to do, if we select the actual uh, 3D portion here that the icons are sitting on, it will then jump down to the particular layer which is called Floor. So if we hold down the Alt key and click, that removes everything. But we need to bring a few more layers back. So we're going to bring the shadow back the black line and, and white line at the top and then the final thing will be the content here so as you can see we can now see the whole uh, portion that we want so before we save it we want to give this a name so if we double click on it uh, we'll call this um, nav bg and then click ok so if we do file save for the web and devices make sure you've selected the actual slice make sure it's PNG okay so we want to make sure that the selected slices is selected and then we just want to click on save and that will save it into the images folder so now that we've saved that slice what we need to do jump over to Dreamweaver and add it into the HTML and CSS so if we just jump into the code of the index page and then if we come down below the search box and then we want to create the following div so we're going to create a div with an ID of nav and then we'll close that off so if we just select this div with an ID of nav and go to the design view you would expect to see the nav uh, underneath here but if you look down here we're definitely selected on the div with a, an ID of nav and this is it here this yellow box here now the reason it's up there is because we told the logo to float to the left and the search to float to the right which then disrupts the flow of the document so we now need to clear those two floats which will then bring the nav back down to where we expect to see it so the way we do this if we go into our style sheet and I like to create these styles at the top we're going to create the following so we're going to create a class so it's going to be a dot I'm going to call this clear both like that and then in here we're going to type in clear and then you guessed it both um, so now we've got that class in position what we need to do if we go back to the design go to the code and then like I said we need to clear the logo which we floated to the left and we need to clear the search box which we floated to the right so we put this code just after the logo and the search so we're going to create a div with a class and we're going to select the clear both class and then just close that off and then if we we now need to style the navigation so if we just copy the the ID of nav and go to the style sheet just come down the page and then down here we're going to create an ID of nav and we're going to say the height will be just for now we'll just say 150 pixels again we can change this later and if we go back to the index page and then go to design and there you go you can now see that the the navigation div has now come down underneath the logo and the uh, search box obviously that looks way too big um, but we can sort that out in a second so we're now going to go and add in the 
uh, image into the background. So if we go to the style sheet, so we're now going to say background image. So if we just browse for that, so if we go into our images folder, here it is, navbg, and it's 950 pixels wide by 91 high. So if we OK on that, so we're going to say background repeat. no repeat. So if we just go into the index page and go to the design you can now see that's in there so if I just move this out of the way a bit so we can see it fully. So the height was 91 so we'll go back to the page here and we'll change this to 91. So if we just go back to the index page you can now see that the background has now been added into the design. So if we just preview this in a web browser by clicking on the globe symbol here and click in the browser you use and if we just refresh the page so as you can see here now we've added that in we'll probably need to bring it down um, from the top a little bit more but that's now in place ready to be adding the icons on the top so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave the video here for now so I'm going to be redesigning Matt Saunders mcp.co.uk uh, over the weekend and the bank holiday uh, and there'll be extra additional content uh, on there so more videos there's going to be a forum and all that all that good stuff so as usual thanks for watching please leave any comments below and I'll catch you in the next video